I'm going to end the year by telling you guys one final story of a beautiful thing that happened to me since I've been on my journey with Islam and this one is to do with these prayer beads and it also is kind of like a heartbreaking story about Gaza. A couple weeks ago I went to visit my dad in Georgia, the country, and I was working there and I went to visit him for the week. When I got there I knew it was a very orthodox Christian country, the town he was staying in was a very small town so I asked him are there any mosques in this town and he said yes there is one mosque in this town and it's in like the Turkish Arab area of town there's like one street where there's loads of Turkish and Arabic shops and there's a mosque there so on the days when he was working I went by myself to the mosque and before I walked through all the Arabic shops and I walked randomly into this one souvenir shop and the lady there I asked her where she was from and she told me she's Palestinian and I was browsing kind of the souvenir she had and I asked her about these prayer beads then we kind of talked a bit I asked her like how did she end up in Georgia and she told me didn't end up buying anything I went to the mosque after that the next day I came back to the same mosque it was a really beautiful mosque and after prayer time loads of the like Georgian aunties Georgian ladies after prayer they all gathered around me and someone's grandma pulled me into a huge hug and a kiss no one could speak English and I can't speak Georgian so I don't know what they were saying I think they were saying something like welcome to the town because they were all like smiling and happy and like gathering around me and like hugging me so I was just saying like thank you like you know I, this is a really pretty town and it was really sweet it was really nice to meet like the Muslim community in Georgia even though like none of us could communicate and as all the aunties were gathered around me I randomly thought about the Palestinian lady who I'd met the day before and I was thinking I wonder if she comes to this mosque or if she's here today and Wallah, in that moment I had a tap on my shoulder and I turned and it was her and she had these in her hands and she said this is for you in honour of my parents who were killed in Gaza recently. I was so heartbroken for her and I thanked her for her generosity and I said like you know I asked about the rest of her family and then I said to her thank you so much because I was asking about these prayer beads yesterday in your shop and then in that moment she said oh yes I remember you because she hadn't recognized me when I was wearing hijab in the mosque and when I went to her shop the day before I wasn't wearing hijab so it's not that she recognized I was asking about those prayer beads she just randomly decided to give me the prayer beads that I was asking about the day before because I was so blown away by her kindness by the coincidence by like the heartbreaking situation and still she had the grace and like the generosity to gift a stranger like a tourist in her town like these prayer beads like the whole situation was so like overwhelmingly like beautiful emotional heartbreaking like this is a picture of the pretty mosque and this is when she gave me the prayer beads i was so like overwhelmed after that i actually went back to her shop to buy some souvenirs and talk to her a bit more and ask her about her family and she gave me another gift she gave me these key rings this one says mashallah and then in georgian it also says mashallah